Hi everyone, this is Ryan here. I decided to record a commentary and post for this video because I did not live commentate it and otherwise it's just going to be 10 minutes of silence. So I got to this one late as it says on the screen there and it looks like they were still within their first pass through the deck so no reshuffles have happened yet. Um, purple probably played Flowing Blood for a 3-1 which uh, Sad took to life and then Advanced Distance allowing Sad to play Reap into Mosul. Reap created more shadow, and the uh, Flowing Blood also created plenty of shadow, so Mosul was playable in the first pass of the deck. Normally, it's a little bit difficult to accomplish. Um, it's purple is at range 3. It's his turn. Mosul hasn't ticked down. I'm not sure why. I think uh, Sad just forgot to tick it down on his turn. And he's going to play... After a take back, vivacity into scattering strike. Purple thinks, or sorry, Sad thinks about it for a little bit and decides to take that to life, which sheds aura. And this puts him into a position where he will be able to play Drain Devil to uh, counteract the slash with the Mosul action. Because otherwise, the Drain Devil aura gain would not let him uh, advance to range 2, or distance 2. Because he does that, though, he's able to avoid the slash, which is I thought was a pretty cool play when I saw it. I was like, okay, that's that's neat. Save yourself one life or two flare, and you build your mechanism. I'm not sure what Sad was confused about here. Um, Spurple starts his turn again. No, Purple uses his Vigor to recover. He hasn't finished his turn yet. And then uses the other Vigor to focus. I'm not sure why he double spends there. So Sad's now going to Industria his Reap, and then he's going to uh, use the Mosul action to gain a flare. Or is that right? Yeah, yeah. He uses the Mosul action to gain a flare afterwards, but. He also takes back the Industria because he wants to have his Reap in his play pile for his mechanism action because Purple just did a take back on his turn. That seems completely reasonable. Yeah, so here's that. I'm not sure about Industria Reap, but it Seems decent enough against uh, Urena because you want the flare denial generally. It's kind of a stall card, but it's also kind of a 2-2. And there's not really a strong reaction game to prevent it from going off. There's no distance shifts and there's nothing... Uh, like, commonly doesn't want to use Sever on something as minor as Reap generally. And another quick take back to discard a card to focus. I'm not sure what the intention there was. Other than to free up an aura space, possibly for something. Drain Devil? That's right. So purple managed to redraw into his throughout here on this reshuffle, which is kind of incredible if you think about it. Like, he went down to zero vigor almost as if he was planning to have the throughout again, even though it was in his plate pile. Then again, he was also... There's also a strong chance that he was planning on just making this a setup turn if he didn't get his throughout regardless. So he would just maintain his vigor and build up his cards to plow through Sad's defenses again on a future turn. And it's kind of the perfect card to play and to reflect out here because you're not worried about playing multiple tags. He only gets one aura back from the Flying Blood, though. Or, did he even take it? Yeah, he did, and then he got uh, Drain Devil. That's right. Sad so just uh, recovering aura on his turn, passing, taking another turn of Reflecta protection. And I don't think there's anything wrong with playing this slow against... Uh, commonly because you can kind of win off a taboo gauge, but on the other hand, this 
is not looking good, right? Because he's already almost down to half life and just gets destroyed if he takes any of these attacks to Aura. He does Aura goes down to four, or then he gets uh he opens himself up to like the red blade scattering or whatever. It's purple plays his hilt strike. Sad takes it to life, and Purple's like, okay, well, I got my life damage for the turn. I can hold my two cards and just keep shredding you next turn. Okay. Gnawing Dust coming out. This is a good time to play it because Purple has plenty of aura and plenty of flare. Losing either of those is not ideal, but on the other hand, there's not too much Sad can do to punish the aura loss. Like, if he loses Aura, it's kind of like whatever. He just is going to have to lose the Flare anyway to reap. Because so far, Sad hasn't revealed any way to actually deal this, like any life damage in this game. Except possibly through reap, which he can only hit life after Flare is gone with that. And there just hasn't been that much drain so far. Sad does have the Mosul going again, though, which is going to make his defense pretty strong here. One thing that would have been nice to see on Sad's end, and I'm not 100% sure he wasn't running it because I didn't see any uh, deck reveals at the end, but it would have been Shadow Wall. Shadow Wall would have been a great card to uh, take some of these hits to life from Kamui and be able to Mosul step out of the way of actions as well, optionally. Like here, if he had Shadow Wall, he could choose to either dodge it or just take it and avoid the life damage. But Slash does go through, so Sad's Aura just like can't do anything to this because Kamui is just 3-1. Kamui Urena specifically has got three different 3-1 attacks with, with benefits. One of them optionally goes to a 4-2. One of them optionally, like, steals Aura off also. If you take any of them to Aura, then you just get plaid by a 3 3 or 2 2s, etc. Um, yeah, no, it's pretty rough, and there's not a whole lot Sad is able to do about it. So this is going to be essentially the last turn for Sad this game. He uh, drops a Reap down. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's one more turn. With Duple Gear. And then he uh, accelerates Tornado, which is going to hit for one life and all purples are a... That's right. There's going to be one more turn. And he was kind of forced to do that because uh, he can't hold on to all those cards for a future turn. Obviously, it would be better to be able to double reap and then tornado out. And he couldn't tornado first either because he doesn't have the mechanism for the aura damage on tornado. Because, again, that would have also been better if he uh, could have reaped after a tornado. Um, let's see, so we have the Godly Intervention Simulator coming out. Oh, right, because the Mosul actions allowed uh, Sad to get into what he wanted for his uh, attack ranges here. He wanted to put, so he put himself somewhere where he could hit with Tsukikage Crush, and I think that's pretty much all he could be aiming for here. He, he doesn't have the correct life to be able to do Final Blow. And he didn't find it, so he calls the GG there, but they keep playing for a little while. He originally picks balance because he gets one life back that way. But then he's like, wait, I'm giving him a devoted balance, and then changes his mind and flips Gravewalk. 
out of the game technically has it in play, which makes it so that, well, I don't think he had to play it. I think it's optional to play when it, you know, the devoted cards, but he does play it, which makes it so he can't lose for two turns or whatever, which is silly, but. And he does not get the 3 3 attack because he doesn't have Kamui's taboo gauge to increase to make a 3 3. And so from here, the game is kind of up. He's already taken six life damage. Purple has taken one life damage that hasn't been from reshuffle. And Sad just doesn't have the offensive power to come back in this game. He's already played all his specials. There's really nothing he can do at this point to win the game. Yeah, he made a big gamble in his deck building, and it did not pay off in the slightest because Purple didn't bring any special that could be punished by it. And that's it.